Greetings everyone, Oscar here, and I am coming at you with a review for another episode of The Flash. This week's episode is called Grodd Lives, and it mainly focuses on Barry going up against the newest bad guy of the week, the incredibly intelligent and powerful Gorilla Grodd. And let me tell you guys that Donkey Kong ain't got shit on Grodd. But before I start this review, I would just like to say that there might be some potential spoilers, so if you haven't actually seen the episode, please pause this video right here, go watch the episode. But if you don't care about that stuff, let's review episode 21 of The Flash. Or, as Zack would say in this situation, show me my monkey! I thought that this was a really good episode. At first, when I watched it, I thought that it was just okay, but after a second viewing of the episode, I really liked it. A lot of good stuff happens within it. Of course, if you remember in last week's episode, Eubarthon kidnapped Eddie and he's now holding him hostage. So Barry has been working day and night trying to find them. But Barry also has to deal with Iris now knowing that he is actually the Flash. And uh, I gotta say, I actually gotta give credit to Iris. Uh, she wasn't as irritating or as annoying as she has been in previous episodes. She did make a few good points, really. Uh, she pointed out to Barry that if Barry had told her that he was a Flash and that the Reverse Flash threatened to kill her and that the Reverse Flash was Harrison Wells, then maybe they could have done a better job at protecting both Eddie, Iris, and all the others in the group. And there's a lot of truth to that. I believe that actually if a superhero reveals his secret identity, to his family and to his friends, he increases the chances of protecting them even more. Also, Iris got some good character development as well. Uh, she did also save Barry's life when she, he battled Grodd. So yeah, Iris, you get a gold star this time around. But really what you guys want to hear me talking about the most is Gorilla Grodd. And... Uh, yeah, Grodd, Grodd was pretty cool. I mean, even if it was done on a TV budget, Grodd still looked pretty good for the most part. I mean, there was a few moments during the episode where he was like, eh, not so good. But for the most part, yeah, it was really well done, and the fight between them was really good. I mean, Barry has a hard time fighting Grodd, because Grodd is not only a more formidable foe physically, but... He's also very formidable mentally, because at the same time as Barry is fighting him, Grodd attacks him mentally, and it's really hard for Barry. He really has to push himself in order to beat Grodd, and in order to actually to battle through his psychic attacks, which was really fun to see. And as I said, Iris contributed a lot in that fight. But yeah, it was really cool to see. Another thing that I really liked in this episode is the scenes between Eobard Thawne and uh, Eddie Thon. Hubert actually shows Eddie the newspaper and he says that, you know, Eddie, you're not gonna get the girl in the end. Look at the byline. And Eddie sees that, wow, uh, Iris married Barry. And Hubert also tells him that out of all the Thons that came, you are the one that's been forgotten. You're the one who's not remembered. And I really like their conversation because you can really feel that Maybe Eobard is pushing him more towards the dark side. So maybe in Season 2 he could become the Hunter Zolomon version of Zoom, or he could be Cobalt Blue. <laughs> Another thing that I really liked in this episode was Sisko. As always, Sisko is probably the best character in this entire show. And when he finds out that Grodd has now become this intelligent gorilla, he just won't stop making movie references to King Kong and Planet of the Apes and all that stuff. And probably the best line comes from Sisko and it's towards the ending of the episode and in the episode Joe was kidnapped by Grodd and uh, he actually got to talk to Grodd a bit. But by the end of the episode they managed to save Joe from Grodd and uh, Sisko asks, asks Joe like, how was Grodd? Like, did he eat the banana that you gave him? And is he more of a Planet of the Apes fan or a King Kong fan? And uh, Joe just answers, he was terrifying, nope, he did not eat it, and I didn't have time to ask. <laughs> I really love that stuff. I really 
like the dynamic that both Joe and Cisco have. I'm saying that if you're going to make a spin-off show, then please make a spin-off show for Joe and Cisco. Come on, I would watch that religiously. So, yeah, all in all, a uh, good episode. I really recommend that you go and watch it. But now I want to hear from you guys. What did you think about this episode? Was it good? Was it bad? Please tell me in the comment section down below. And also don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Oscar for the Hybrid Network. And until next week, take care, guys. See you later. Oh, hey. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed what you just saw. I don't know what exactly you just saw, but I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you really did like it, go check out our other stuff. You know, we have social media, Facebook, Twitter. The link should be somewhere here. Also, we have other channels, too. We have our movie video game channel. We have our music channel. And obviously, our comic book channel, too, because we know we do all that entertainment awesomeness. We also have a website. Go to our website, hybridnetworkyt.com. And check out our other videos. Uh, that's all I really have to say. It's Josh, and you know I hope you guys enjoyed you know what you watched.